Sara Baglietto oversaw the handover from Gillian Balbang to Francesca Cartwright as the bank's head of retail for Gibraltar when the former was made redundant in March 2017. Over the following nine months, Ms Baglietto claims that £2 million was fraudulently logged without a knowledge, both in the physical cash ledger and in the bank's teller system, when this cash did not exist. In evidence, she described the bank's accounting system, part of which involved cash being recorded either as in the vault or in the tills. She alleges that the non-existent £2 million was transferred out from the vault to the tills during the day, so when she performed a cash count of the vault, the total balanced with the cash ledger. After she logged this in the cash ledger, Ms Baglietto says her total was then doctored to include £2 million by an employee who is scheduled to give testimony next week. This false figure was then recorded in the teller system as well. She also claimed that upon discovery of the deficit, Ms Balban asked her to input the £2 million as a last favour and that the issue would be fixed in a few days. Representing Ms Balban, Sir Peter Garuana KC cross-examined the witness at length, challenging multiple aspects of her initial statement to police and of her testimony in often tense exchanges. Ms Baglietto conceded that at times there may have been procedural oversights on her end. When you do this job for years, she said, you can grow complacent. Sir Peter did not question that the £2 million was not there, nor that the figure was fraudulently entered in the bank's records. However, his extensive questioning culminated in a direct allegation this morning. He said that both Ms Baglietto and Ms Cartwright must have known about the £2 million hole in June 2017. Sir Peter said it was impossible for them not to have known and that they were feigning surprise when they claimed to have discovered the issue six months later in December when they first reported it. Ms Baglietto strongly disagreed. The trial is scheduled to resume on Monday at 10am.